So first of all, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm going to grab this Glam Glow Moisturizer. This is in the shade Nude. I got this for a gift at my birthday for Sephora. And I am applying it all over my face. This smells so good, you guys. Like, I would probably buy the bottle and stop using the MAC one. I don't know. Because I really like the smell on this one. And the MAC one moisturizer doesn't really... I mean, the show cream doesn't really, like, smell that much. And it's the same thing. And then I'm going to move on to my primer. I'm using this Fenty Beauty Primer. This is a little sample that I got from Sephora for my 100 points. And honestly, you guys, I mean, it's good or whatever. But I don't really notice a difference. My pores are still there. I'm not sure if it's the foundation, but the pores are still good there. Um, I'm moving on to this Kat Von D foundation. This is a full coverage foundation. And I don't know. I feel like when I use this, I want to use a primer that will cover up my pores. Because this foundation is full coverage. And, you know, it could get heavy handed with this one. And my pores could start showing up. So, I'm going to try to look for another primer that will do that. But I did forget to record the concealer and setting part this is a setting powder that i used in the shade 10 and it's the best it's literally a duo for the laura mercier uh, just a little bit better sorry and this is the hula bronzer from benefit oh i'm so sorry i did apply the revolution concealer um i just didn't show that part and then i'm just gonna apply it all over my face i'm sorry don't mind me i'm just watching the office I just noticed there's a little ghost behind me. Do you see that? I'm a little bored. I'm dead. But yeah, I just apply it all over my face. And I also apply it on my forehead. And that's about it. I don't do like the chin or whatever. But I do go to a darker shade. And I'm going to grab the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Just a little bit darker. I deepened up my contour because I don't want to look too, too orange. Um, so I'll deepen it up. Define my cheekbones that I don't have. This is the Morphe brush in the number 510. I know that because that's the area code of my city and i grab a different brush for my nose but i use the exact same bronzer i don't know exactly what number this is but it's from morphe and i really like it it's really fluffy it fits my nose and yeah it defines it really really nice and i wouldn't trade it for the world Moving on to this Too Faced Eggnog Latte. Um, I only come for the brush. Brush, sorry. For the blush. I'm here for this palette only for the blush. Because you can never use enough blush. Like, honestly, this looks really, really natural. But if you want to go heavy-handed, you could totally build it up. But, I mean, I rarely wear blushes. But I really like this one. So I'm just applying it on my apple to my cheeks. And then I go ahead and use this Galaxy Stick Highlighter from L'Oreal. Nothing I would purchase myself, but this was a gift and I love it. I love it so much and I've been wearing it so often, especially when I wear cool tone eyeshadows like this. I really like to, you know, have that highlight pop in as well. It's like a little blue type of purple shimmery type of color with these sticks they can be a little like oh my god literally okay thanks um they could be a little i don't know they could pull your, oh my god they could pull your foundation if you apply a lot but don't try to go heavy-handed with these sticks um i totally like don't do it a lot just a little just go with some light you know and then I go ahead and spritz my face with the Morphe um, setting spray. This makes a difference to my face. It doesn't look cakey. But yeah, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.